everybody. Today is going to be a burger place my friends told me about. Royce, thank you. Actually, my coworker and friend. Um, thanks, Royce. And for you, Miss Faye, my high school friend, you live in the hood, so you could probably walk here. It's going to be a burger place called Carl Ojisan Burger Shop. It's a burger shop in the daytime, about 10.30 they open, and they're open till 3 p.m. And um, they serve burgers in the afternoon. And then at night, it turns into Yakiniku Tawashi. So it's that same place. Um, I guess they juggle two businesses in one area. Let me flip it around so you can see it. So you'll see this big sign when you come up to the front. But let me take you through the parking so you can see how easy it is to come here and parking is not an issue. All right, we're in the parking lot. You can enter from Amana Street and you'll see many stalls towards the left if you come in. That's a restaurant, so you can park there. And we'll head up. If you're wondering how to get here, this is Amana Street. If you go that way, that's Pagoda Hotel and that's Makaloa. And this is the building and you enter through here. Um, there's no gate or anything, so you don't need to take a ticket. You take a left and that's where the restaurant parking is. And then you enter, walk up that ramp and you'll see this Zen Jewelry and 747 Amana. This is the entrance and it's actually a yakiniku place during the night and it is a burger place in the afternoon. So we're a bit early, five more minutes to go, it's 10.25 and these are their hours and they're closed on Mondays. So still closed, waiting for it to open. So because they're sharing it with a yakiniku restaurant, you do have that middle yakiniku table, um, which you might find odd if you don't know, you know that they share a restaurant. But that's the reason why they have this in the middle of the table. Um, but shouldn't bother me. Um, maybe if you have a big party, you might not be able to put your burger on that side if you're more near the yakiniku stove. But um, most people usually do takeout, so but it's a pretty big space with lots of seating if you want to dine in. So this is the menu, and the owner is super cool. He came up and explained everything, so they're famous for the one. And I was doing my research before, but I don't like blue cheese much, but I'm willing to try it. And because I only have so much stomach space, I am not doubling up, but you can double your patty for $6.50 extra. But what I really was attracted to, they have a Wagyu cheeseburger as well. I, and a classic cheeseburger, I want the Koheka Smash Burger. So that's got a blend of grass-fed beef, spicy Portuguese sausage, and onion and yellow mustard. Sounds delicious. Then you can add sides, um, you know, like your fries and things. Here we go. Fries. You can get beer if you want. A soft drink. And um, add on stuff like jams and jalapenos. Okay, so everything came out and that's amazing because it's a lot of things. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to take a box to go, so I'm just trying it um, and showing you different things that you can get here. So let's try the Kaheka Smash Burger first. It's got um, a mixture of beef and Portuguese sausage in the patty. This is the cheese with some onions on top. A nice toasted bun. Everything smells delicious when it came out. And the owner is Carl, and he's super cool. Thank you, Carl. Um, he got me some of the house special fries. I'm not sure if it's actually on the menu. I can't remember because I just wanted regular fries, but it's got um, their house sauce, onions, and tomato bacon jam on there, but let's uh, do this burger first. Mm. <laughs> Damn, that's good. You can definitely taste the Portuguese sausage in here, and it's a good kind of Portuguese sausage because that flavor comes out and it mixes with the beef really well. Super yummy. 
And what gives it awesome flavor is, I'm not sure if you can see, but we'll do a close-up, the crispy bits on the edge from the grill just give it that nice flavor. And it mixing with the uh, cheese and onions in there and the Portuguese sausage taste, fabulous, delicious. And even though it's a smash burger, I think the patties for a smash burger anyway are pretty thick. I mean, it's pretty okay. It's not like super skinny. So um, if you're on a budget and you can't afford the double up burger, I think one patty is suitable enough to keep you full. All right, let's take a break between the burgers and try these fries while they're hot. Here's that special house-made fries. So it's got their special house sauce on there. Looks like kind of like an In-N-Out sauce or something like that. And then the bacon jam is topped on there. It's like bacon tomato jam and some chopped raw onions on crinkle fries. Mmm. Damn, that's good. It's like um, crispy on the outside like a crinkle fry is. Really potatoey and soft on the inside. You know, that pillowy, soft potato inside the crinkle cut fries. But I like the ridges on the fries. They take up the sauce really well. And then sometimes you get bits of that delicious bacon jam. It's got a very strong sun-dried tomato flavor with bacony goodness, so it is amazing. These are good, and the ridges really hold on to all that sauce. I also like the, you know, raw onions. I'm a fan of onions. If you don't like it, maybe tell them to take, to take it off, but once in a while you get a surprise crunch of onion. It gives a good flavor mixed with that house sauce and the bacon tomato jam. This is super winners, but it is huge, so you definitely could share this with somebody. And definitely eat this right away because you want it crunchy. You don't want it soggy. When you come in here, the vibe's super cool. Coral and the staff is very nice and accommodating. I've got saucy hands. Um, it's really nice and air conditioned in here. It's cl clean. And if, I don't know if you hear it, but there's some hip jazz music going on, so it kind of gives that relaxed vibe in here. So, pretty cool atmosphere. Trying to figure out the sauce in here. It's kind of silky, like cheesy, but you can tell there's like ketchup and maybe relish or some kind of tart thing in there that makes it similar to like a Big Mac sauce or In-N-Out sauce. But the silkiness of it and the cheesiness of it just really throws me off in a good way. I mean, like, I can't figure it out. It's pretty, pretty good. So I ordered a side of fries and this is the basket that it comes in. And I don't even want to touch it because it's so plain. Like, um, I'd, I'd rather have this. So definitely get this one. And if you're wondering what that little chime in the background is, it's their phone just going crazy. The phone calls are coming in ever since they opened. So they're pretty popular with takeout orders, it seems. This is called The One. That's what the burger is called. And um, it's their most popular, Carl says. Uh, so everybody gets this and raves about it. It has the same house sauce, the tomato bacon jam, some pickled jalapenos, and blue cheese in there. So like I said, I don't really care for blue cheese, but I'm willing to taste it maybe you know, with everything mixed together, it might go well and I might actually like it. So of course, it's a grilled bun again, even grilled on the other side, so it's toasted. And uh, the blue cheese kinda already melted in there and it's underneath with the jalapenos. And it's got the house sauce as well. And it looks a little bit more wet than um, the other burger I had, the Kaheka Smash. So it might be flavorful. Hmm, very interesting. It confuses your mouth in a good way. First bite, you get that house sauce, that tangy, creamy, kind of almost, I don't know how to explain it, maybe a Thousand Island Big Mac type of dressing with that relish taste. And then you get a little bit of that tart, spicy jalapeno 
that you get on the bottom and that creamy bacon tomato jam. It's just like all these flavors changing in your mouth all at once. It's crazy. It's also got the diced raw onion in there, which is nice. And the same crusty, deliciously grilled patty with those crispy bits on the end. Super uno. I don't really taste the blue cheese in the way where it would be off-putting. And what turns me off about blue cheese, it doesn't have that funky taste at all. It's very creamy. And it's also mixed with, um, you know, American cheese is on there as well. So that kind of takes away some of the strongness of the blue cheese. I think the blue cheese is just there to complement things in a little bit of a way with everything else that's in there. The good thing about this place is reading the Yelp reviews, it seems that Carl and the staff are very accommodating. So if you're not one that likes spicy things or you don't like jalapenos, they'll take it out for you. But I think the person that would like this kind of burger likes that Big Mac sauce type of taste with a lot of things going on. Sometimes it's exciting to have all these things going on and it actually all well, works well together. Um, you know, you have that delicious patty that's in there. And um, I think all the condiments in there, uh, like the tomato bacon jam and the sauce, give it a little bit more wetness, so it's not as dry. Whereas the Kaheka smash burger is a little bit drier, but that's fine because it gave me a side of ketchup so I can put it in there. But um, I definitely try both of these, uh, but if you're really into a lot of toppings on your burger, this one's the one. Well, that's what it's called, right? So if you're a purist and you just want a plain smashed burger, you can either get the Wagyu cheeseburger or the Kaheka smash, because uh, the Kaheka smash has the onions and the cheese in there. But like I said, it's a little bit dry because there's no sauce in there, but you know, he gives you ketchup if you want to put it in. And uh, it'll be a little bit more moist in there. So, it's all good. I actually enjoy the meat mixture and the Kaheka smash with that Portuguese sausage. So I'm gonna finish this off and then we'll come back with uh, concluding thoughts, I guess. I said I wouldn't touch these, but I took a couple of bites out of some of these and they are so deliciously crunchy. They're fried to perfection. Usually sometimes you get these, they're underdone or too burnt, but they got it down to a pat. Hi, I'm Carl. Um, um, I'm the uh, part owner of uh, the Carl OG3 Burger Shop, which is a uh, Carl Oji-san Burger Shop. Uh, we've been uh, soft open since uh, May. We haven't officially gone uh, done uh, do the uh, grand opening yet, but uh, in a couple couple more weeks we should uh, get into the grand opening. Yeah. Will you be open like later? Is this uh, the, um, yeah? Unfortunately, well, this yakiniku at night, so we only operate till three. Mm -hmm. Um, and after that, uh, we, we close the shop, we clean up, and the acne can open at 5 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. And then parking's free, right? It's parking's like, free. It's absolutely okay. free. Just oh. make sure you go down a ramp, take a left. Anything that says restaurant, reserve parking, that's our parking. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And if you're wondering how to pronounce it, it's actually Carl OG, and it's called Oji-san, but that's San 3 for Japanese. So San is the word for three, so that's how you say it, Karo Oji-san Burger Shop. All right, that was Mr. Oji-san, uh, Karo. Thank you so much for the food, Karo. That was amazing. And um, hopefully you guys come here again on Amana Street here in town and close to the B Pagoda Hotel and Makaloa Street right there where uh, Kapiolani is as well. Remember, free parking. And um, you don't even have to validate a ticket or anything, it's just free. Just make sure you park in the spots that say restaurant, because this building is also shared with other businesses, so you don't want to park in the wrong spot. Uh, clean environment, delicious burgers, something different if you're looking for a gourmet burger, exceptional service, and very nice and air-conditioned clean you know, place with the chill vibe. So thank you again, Carl, for your delicious food and um, showing me all the different things on your menu. And I'll see you again next week on another food adventure. Take care, everybody. If you like this, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again. Have a great weekend.